Hello, my name is Flora Gaucher with the Avaya Regional Solution Engineering Team. This video is about the administration of the VoIP stations for interactive voice response unit like Avaya Aura Experience Portal, Voice Portal, or Avaya Interactive Response. To have an IVR station, we need first to enable the usage of the station type 7434ND. To do so, we have to access the System Parameters features and on page 6, at the bottom right, set to Yes the 7434ND field. Then, save your change. Now we can add an IVR station. Set the type to 7434ND, the port to IP, set a name, then set a security code. Now go down to display module and set it to yes. And be sure to have the display language set to English. Move to IP of phone, set it to yes and go to the next page. On this page, we will set to know all the communication manager features which are not used by IVR system. So set LWC activation to no, redirect notification to no, on the right coverage message retrieval to no, the other features are already set to no. Pay attention at the restrict last appearance, which should be set to yes. This will ensure your IVR system will be able to do a transfer. Now set multimedia mode to enhanced. And on the bottom right, be sure to have direct IP IP audio connections set to yes and IP audio airpinning set to yes. On the next page, there is no change to do. Now on this page, remove the third core appearance button as only two core appearances are used by IVR system and configure button 10 with UCID info. On the next page, we have nothing to add. On the last page, be sure to have a normal button configured. Save your changes. Now, this station can be used as a model to administer the other IVR stations you need. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.